Hello and welcome to this new DAO Presentations live coding session. Today we are going to draw using paths um, and in order to illustrate that we'll see how we can draw things like gears using paths combined with uh, structures. So let me start by seeing how we can use path to draw various shapes. Let me start by using line 2, starting at 0, and then going to 100, 100, and uh, to 100, 0. And so I have this triangle, and if now I put a color like uh, light gray, and another color for the line like uh, red, you see the path is not closed, so I can basically close it like this. So it's um, very similar to various other object models. One of the differences is that it's, um, of course, all 3D, so I could add a third coordinate here and create 3D paths the same way. Um, we also have quad uh, elements like this, so I can have uh, create an element like this. So now we are going to use this to build gears. And uh, for gears, I need to have, um, it's, it's more interesting to describe them in radial form. So I'm going to add a helper function, radial line two, which takes an angle and a distance, a radius. And it's going to do a line two of uh, radius times sinus a, radius times cosinus a, um, the thing is, uh, sine and cosine usually use um, radians, so we are going to shift to degrees for convenience for us. So that would be sin d of x, which is a real number, is sine of uh, x times pi divided by 180, and cos d of x is cos of x times pi divided by 180. So now I can describe a path like this, like a radial line to zero degrees, uh, 50 pixels, going to 70 pixels, and then going back down at 20 degrees to the right. And so basically I've created my cog like this. So now all I need is to repeat this. So let me declare what a cog is. And um, so I'm going to use variables for that. Um, let me first index the, the index of the cog would be something like this. Um, so that would be n times basic angle called angle and that would be the inner radius and uh, that would be n times called angle outer radius and same thing here but now I'm at n so I want to increase n by 1 for each cog so I'm going to go halfway there And um, so now I have my single cog and I need to define that the cog angle is, for instance, 20 and uh, the inner radius is uh, 40 and outer radius is 60. Now I can draw cogs like this. So I draw a path and cog with 0 0.5. Okay, so I think I made a mistake there, which is here. This one is the outer radius and this one is the inner. Looks more like what I want. Except a typo, so 
So I get this our message here complaining that this doesn't exist. Okay, so now in order to build a cogwheel, I really need to uh, decide what the angle is. So cogwheel with end cogs and inner and outer radius would be um, inner radius is, uh, so I assign it to inner, outer radius assigned to outer, and I compute the cog angle as 360 divided by cogs. And then I draw my path with something like uh, cog with 0 0.1 one point uh, cogs. So now I can draw my cogwheel here like this. Cogwheel with 12, 12 cogs between 60 and 70. Okay, so as you can see, the closed path is myth missing here. Closed path. And maybe just to make it uh, nice looking, uh, I could add a circle in the center. So let me add the radius of the circle, like uh, 10. And that would be It's complaining about this. Okay, so now I can make this pin like this, rotate Z 20 times time. So let me make all this part of a given cog and then add another one locally color uh, gray, 30% alpha, line color blue, line width 2, rotate C minus 12 times time, and put a cog wheel here that will have 20 wheels uh, between 120 and 130 with a center of 10. Okay, so now I'm going to shift this one uh, on the side, translate. So let me shift it on the x axis um, by 120 plus 60, 180, 0, 0 should do it. Uh, no, I need the out of 70 plus 30, that's 200. Okay, so now they are basically spinning together. Um, and of course, I could make more complicated mechanisms that way, um, including one that would uh, spin the cogs inside like this. Um, black, and now this one would be 192 minus 60 or so, and uh, and this one would need to spin like 20. Okay, so now that I have this animation, I can simply put it inside a slide as usual. So import um, I'm going to use the um, uh, Seasons Greetings theme. Nothing to do with what I'm showing, but why not? Seasons Greetings. And then I'm going to do a picture slide. So let me put that away. That's a helper function. Let me put it at the end and put this inside a picture slide. Wait. 
things. Maybe I need some kind of white background, but so let me just add a white background behind this. White eighty percent, and I'm going to do a rounded rectangle. Um, zero zero mm, six hundred wide three hundred or four hundred high and twenty in the corner that's not enough but I think you get the basic idea and that's the illustration I wanted to have so I hope that this gives you an idea on how to build interesting animations inside our presentations uh, using loops and uh, other programmatic constructs. Thank you.